So let's talk about sum and difference formulas. So if I have sine a plus b, this is the same as sine a cos b plus sine b cos a. Now if I have sine a minus b, this is going to give me sine a cos b minus sine b cos a. We can clearly see that here there is plus, also here there is plus. Then here there is minus, here there is minus. So these are the formulas which you need to know and assign. Now let's go to cos. If you have cos a plus b, this is going to be different now. This is going to be equal to cos a times cos b. If this is plus for cos, then it's going to be minus here. Sin a, sin b. Now, if I want to do for co for minus, it's going to be the opposite. If here there is minus, then the sign is going to change, it's going to be plus. So, of course, we can clearly see that we are going to have cos A, cos B plus sin A, sin B. What of for tan? If we have tan, a plus B, this is going to be tan A, we just follow the, this is plus, there is plus there, so it's going to be ta plus tan B, divided by, here I'm going to say 1, since there is plus here, it's going to be minus tan A times tan B. Now, if I have the 1 for minus, I'm going to say, tan a minus b is going to be tan a minus tan b everything divided by is going to be divided by or let me just get rid of this let me get rid of um, the top part here so I'll put the one for tan this is the formula which you have to know for tan is going to be tan tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a times tan b. Now let's assume to say a because a and b which we are talking about here is just basically the angle. So now let's assume to say the angle is theta. So if I have theta, let's say we have got sine, then in the brackets we have got theta plus theta. We clearly we can see here that this is going to be theta plus theta is two theta. Okay, but now um, I want to show you the important identities which you have to know under sum and different formulas. So we know that this is going to be sine theta times cos theta plus again sine theta plus cos theta. Now theta plus theta is going to give me 2 theta. So this and this, they are the same. Then this is going to be just, I can add them. It's going to give me 2 sine theta cos theta. So wherever you are going to see sine 2 theta, you can replace with this identity. So this is an identity which you have to know. Now another one which you have to know is for cos. 
if I have cos theta plus theta is going to be cos theta times cos theta since there is plus here this is going to be minus sin theta times sin theta so theta plus theta is going to give me cos 2 theta cos theta times cos theta is going to give me cos squared theta minus sin times sin is going to be sin squared theta again if you see any identity which is cos 2 theta you can replace it with cos squared theta plus or minus sin squared theta now this identity we can derive two more identities from this identity now we know that sin theta sin squared theta or let me put it here sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 now from here I can make a sine squared theta as a subject of formula I'm going to say sine squared theta will be equal to 1 minus cos squared theta I've just shifted this to the other side now in this function here or in this identity which I have here where there is sine squared theta I'm going to put 1 minus cos squared theta and I'm going to say this is going to be cos squared theta minus open brackets 1 minus cos squared theta so I can simplify this and say I can open the bracket it's going to be minus 1 plus cos squared theta this and this can add up it's going to be 2 cos squared theta minus 1 so another identity which you have to know for cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1 okay so now I can put this here I'll get rid of this let me put my identity here on top because I'm going to derive another one okay so we are saying that another identity for cos 2 theta it can be replaced by 2 cos squared theta minus 1 now what if we want to make sine we want to make cos as a subject of formula from this parent identity so I'll shift cos to the other side I mean sine to the other side so I'm going to have cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta so I'm going to say this is going to be where there is cos I'm going to put 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta these two can give me a 2 I can add up so it's going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared theta I can also see that where there is cos 2 theta I can also replace with the, this identity now this cos 2 theta has got three identities which you have to know so the first one is this the second one is this the third one is this now from here you can also come up with another identity from the second one and the third one from this one and this one we can come up with another identity let's see so I'll put this here we are saying that cos 2 theta can also be replaced by 1 2 sine squared theta I'll put it there now I'll get rid of this another identity which we can come up we can come up with from these two I'll start with this one where I have cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1 I want to make cos squared as a subject of formula so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift 1 negative 1 to the left hand side so it's going to be 1 plus 
cos 2 theta is going to be 2 cos squared theta. I can divide both sides by 2. I can clearly see that these will cancel. I'll have 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 is equal to cos squared theta. Now this can be written as cos squared theta to be equal to this 2 I can write it in form of half. I can say half open brackets 1 plus cos 2 theta. This is another identity which you have to know. So cos squared theta can be replaced by half open brackets 1 plus cos 2 theta. Okay. Now before we go anywhere I can live another one here. From here before we go to the second one, I want to come up with the half angle now. How can I come up with the half angle? When we're talking about half angle, I'm going where there is feet, I'm going to divide it by two. So that I need to get we I need to come up with the half. So from the from this formula here, I'm going to say where there is feet, I'll divide it with what? With two. So here if I divide with two, where there is feet on. I can clearly see that these can cancel. So another identity which you have to know is that cos squared theta over 2 is equal to half 1 plus. Now 2 has disappeared. I have this. This is another identity which you have to know. So where you see cos squared theta over 2, you can replace it with 1 over 2 open brackets. 1 plus cos theta. Now that is another identity which you have to know. Now we can also come up with another identity using this. Okay. Let's see what we are going to have. Now we have cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared theta. I want to make sin I want to make sine squared theta as a subject of formula. I will shift 1 to the other side. Or oh, it's the same as just shifting this to the left hand side. And then shifting this to the right hand side. So I will have 2 sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. We, let's divide both sides by 2. Even here by 2. So I will have sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2. This can be written as sin squared theta to be half then 1 minus cos 2 theta. So this is another identity which you have to know. Where there is cos squared theta you can also replace with this. It's another identity. I can come up with half angle identity where I can divide everywhere with it where there is angle only here. I will divide with 2, even here with 2. Then I will come up with another identity which is going to be the half angle now. So I have theta divided by 2 is going to be half 1 minus because the 2 has disappeared because that 2 and 2 cancel. I will have this. This is another identity which you have to know. Now that we have talked about sine and cos, now we are only talking about plus because we are talking about theta plus theta. So that we need to get a 2 theta. Let's go to tan. So tan, let's say we have tan theta plus theta. We, we know that this is going to give us tan theta plus tan theta divided by, since there is plus here, it's going to be 1 minus tan theta times tan theta. So now, theta plus theta is going to be 2 theta. So tan theta plus tan theta is 2 tan theta. Down there, I can say that tan theta times tan theta is tan squared theta. So where there is tan 2 theta, I can replace it with this. 
as simple as that now in in a case where you have you are trying to make tan squared theta as a subject of formula or you know that tan you know that tan is sine over cos okay so what you can do there is you know that sine the formulas which we, we we just derived there is this is going to be like this and this is going to be like that so the formulas which we have derived there put them on top put for sine on top then down there put for for cos you are going to see what you are going to to have okay these are the formulas the sum and different formulas which you have to know okay now that we have come up with these formulas how can we apply them to solve this question so the question is saying prove the following trigonometric identity we have cos x minus theta over 2 is equal to sin x they want us to prove that this is equal to sin x so we can see that we have cos x minus theta over 2 and we know that theta over 2 is 90 degrees so what I'm going to do now is I know that for cos is going to be cos x times cos theta over 2 since here there is minus I need to put plus here it's going to be sin x times sin theta over 2 now cos x minus theta over 2 cos x is cos x what is cos 90 so cos 90 is 0 plus sin x is sin x what is sin 90 sin 90 is 1 so 0 times I'll have cos x minus theta over 2 I'll have 0 times cos is going to give me 0 sin times 1 is sin x and in I can clearly see that 0 plus sin x I'll have sin x so the left hand side is equal to the right hand side hence proved now using the sum and different formula we, we are able to find the answers now let's go ahead and find and prove part C I believe you can do B using the same formula now if we go for cos for sine we have sine x plus pi over 2 is equal to they want us to prove that is equal to cos x so for sine we know that is supposed to be sine x times cos theta over 2 plus sine theta over 2 times cos x so let's see I have sine x plus pi over 2 sine x is sine x the way it is what is cos 90 cos 90 is 0 plus sine 90 is 1 1 times cos x so I can see that sine x plus pi over 2 0 times sine is 0 plus 1 times cos is cos x so sine x plus pi over 2 is equal to 0 plus cos is going to give me cos we can clearly see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side hence proved now you can use the same method to find to, to prove B and C okay so that is it for this tutorial